Happy Halloween! Right, Halloween cupcakes. Let's get started. Four hundred grams of self-raising flour. Four hundred grams of caster sugar. Four hundred grams of margarine. And two eggs. Whisk together the cake mixture. I'm going to split the cake mixture into two bowls and add two cups of strawberry flavouring, then two cups of vanilla. This mixture will be for the skull cupcakes. I'm using margarine and paper to grease the inside of the cupcake cases. Then fill in each skull case with the cupcake mixture. Preheat the oven to gas mark 4, then place the cases onto a baking tray. Onto the second mixture, add 2 cups of salted caramel flavouring and 1 cup of vanilla flavouring. Add at least 4 cups of black food colouring. Using black cupcake cases, place them into a baking tray and spoon the mixture into each case. We'll use this mixture for the black cat cupcakes. Then place them into the oven. The Jack Skeleton mixture, add 2 cups of orange food flavouring and 2 to 4 cups of black food colouring. Add the mixture to the cupcake cases and place into a baking tray. Once the cakes are cooked, take them out of the oven and place onto a cooling rack. Once the cakes are cooled, it's time to decorate. I'm using a chocolate cake centre to squeeze into the middle of each of the cupcakes. I use the rest of the chocolate to cover the top of the cupcakes. I'm using a gold glitter to sprinkle onto the top. And some silver ball decorations too. Your finished chocolate filled skull cupcakes. Perfect for Halloween. to decorate the black cap cupcakes. Roll out some black icing with a rolling pin. You can use a cookie cutter or a glass to create the circle shape for the top of your cupcakes. You can then fix them down to the cupcakes by using your fingers and pressing down. Using the black icing create two triangle shapes that look like cat ears. Place onto the back of the cupcake and press down with your fingers so that they stay secured. Using a skewer or a chopstick insert two holes on either side of the cupcake. I've chosen mini matchsticks for the whiskers of the cat, but you could also use licorice. Insert the mini matchsticks where we've previously made the holes. 
I'm using a green icing to pipe the eyes. And an orange icing for the cat's nose. A pale pink for the cat's mouth and inner ears. Don't forget to add black dots for the inside of the cat's eyes. For the Jack's Skeleton Cupcakes, repeat the first step we did for the black cat ones. You then need to roll some white fondant icing out and use a knife to cut into thin strips. Layer the strips of icing onto the cupcake. This will make it look like Jack's Skeleton soup. You will need large marshmallows for Jack Skeleton's face. Cut the ends of the marshmallow off and place the sticky part onto the cupcake. This will make sure it secures onto it. We'll then use a black icing to create his face. Using a picture on your phone can be helpful for a guide. Here's your finished Jack Skeleton Cupcake. I hope you enjoy making these cakes and they'll be great for a Halloween party or if you're just sitting at home watching a horror film. Happy Halloween!